What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your fellow paisano, Mr. Reno Zaurini in the house. Welcome to another edition with Cacho with Reno. It was well, a beautiful day to talk about the day after AC Milan against Juventus. As we say in Italian, il giorno dopo è sempre più bello. The day after, it's always a beauty because we've been, I, since yesterday, all I've been hearing critics. People can take the loss. Uh, people saying this, saying that. Every time you went to swim, there's always excuses from everyone. But I, I give you my thoughts, and I'm gonna start off being authentic and being realistic. Okay, yesterday, let's just start off. We had a good turnout with the Juventus Club of Vancouver. A great pleasure to have my boy, all you of a cast. Alberto, we're probably going to do a live tonight, so stay tuned, 8 p.m. Vancouver time, just check it out on my Instagram, Facebook, on the link, it will be live on YouTube, so I will confirm that confirmation as soon as possible, it was a great turnout, I have to say, uh, the Juventus Club, Vancouver, we did it at downtown, beautiful, beautiful, a lot of people showed up, Thank you all for showing up, and a special thanks to the vice president who was there yesterday because her president wasn't there. And again, shout out, which I'll do tonight, to my boy James that got married yesterday from our club. And a shout out to Julio from uh, the Juventus Club of Hollywood. He got married on Saturday, so let's keep it clear. Now this game, guys... Honestly speaking, Milan started with a 4-3-3 and Juventus played a 3-5-2. Let's start with Milan. Milan, yes, they had the green to whatsoever, but I could they had their shots with uh Giroud, you know, some shots from Leo, but you can tell, in my opinion, Milan they just want to play for, for a tie. And there, it wasn't that much. Grinta, you know what I mean? Juventus missed some shots too from Keane uh, close to the end of the first step for Rabiot. Pretty much the same kind of shot that Giroud did and it couldn't get in. But then the second half goes on. The second half goes on, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, one of the Milan players got the red card. It kind of affected the Milan game. 100%. But that's not my fault. I keep on saying since the beginning, Juventus, we don't play calcio. For me, like every Juventine at this moment, will be happy for the three points. Doesn't matter how we play. Because getting three points in the center against Milan after three years, two and a half years, whatever, it's an honor. But Milan had all these players. They had Pulisic, they had... A, Switch him because Piola did these changes. Like, I don't know why. Of course, he had to change the system. But, yes, they, they were trying to attack it. I know Juventus had to do better because uh, with 10 people in the pitch, should I at least score two goals? Luckily, we had that goal from... Uh, well, luckily, for me, that was a beautiful goal from Locatelli. And I give credit to Locatelli because the guy... Everybody was pissed off. Same with me. Couldn't score. And after two years, after the Roma game, he finally scores. Like it or not. But then after that, that goal, uh, that would try to score. Niente. And we were still against 1-0. Milan couldn't score. And there's no excuses with my fellow Milanisti out there. Because even last year, you guys went against us with one goal. And thanks to Orsado. You guys barely win against Milan, uh, Genoa. Let's leave the handball case. I'll still call it a handball case. But you guys have to be realistic. You got all these players. You guys screwed the things up. There's only one Italian player, which is Calabria. This is not Milan. Uh, like, you know what I mean? With, with all these players that you got, all these top stars. Oh, Milan's going to dominate the Serie A. I don't see anything speciale. 
Now we gotta see with PSG. Per carita, senor. Like, but I don't see they looking good. And I keep saying, guys, Juventus don't play culture. I don't need to uh, having comments yesterday through my paisans uh, on Instagram saying uh, how you guys play. Like it or not, Allegri. You know I don't like him, but I'm not gonna sit here say Allegri out, Allegri out. Of course, I'm gonna go though, enjoy the three points at San Siro. Like, where are we talking about here, guys? Of course, I'm gonna enjoy. I'm not happy with the performance, but it is what it is. Allegri, either you like him or not, play ugly, still wins, lose less because we're second uh, part of the defensive uh, inter. Only five goals conceded Inter in total six. Now, hold on. Five Inter, six Juventus. One thing difference. So, it's not that, uh, uh, you know. That's a legger. He's defensive. He's a, I can do nothing about it. He's anti-cultural. That's my thoughts. And he brings the point. Fine. Because there is no excuses. <laughs> in these ten games, the only good game was... Udinese and Lazio. I would love to see like a Lazio game. But then at the end, Mr. Allegri takes off his shirt. And, you know, he was concerned. Because if they scored, then they can go contropied, the counterattack. But come on. Uh, Keza was having his chance. And he had to stop because Allegri was... Uh, but what can I do? It is reality, guys. So, that, these are my thoughts the day after of Juventus. Because, yes, there was a gong show. Uh, with all the with the UN this club event, I I couldn't have a chance to do a video. I was like finito, buddy, like done. <laughs> I'm done for that. No more drinking for me. And of course tonight, when Alberto comes, a nice espresso water. That's it. That was a good moment. To all of Juventini from Vancouver, please join the Juventus club of Vancouver because you not want to miss Friday. I was with Kellini, like guys. And it's a good opportunity to go to Los Angeles and stuff like that, you know, and join these events. So if you're a big Juventus fan like me, please join. Contact me through here or Instagram. I'll put the link down below. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Message me and I'll help you out, guys. No problem. Anyways, sempre forza Juve. Fino alla fine. A casa Milan e a casa tutti. That's all that matters. Ciao a tutti, put a like and subscribe, please share the content, leave the comments down below, I would love to hear what you guys have to say, okay? Remember, I am honest about my team, I don't need you to tell me about my team. Punto e basta. Buonasera ragazzi, ciao ciao.